All right, there we go. <laughs> Let me see. All right. I pressed the wrong, uh, I pressed the wrong transition button. Oops. <laughs> Went to the starting screen. So, got up, let my dogs out, stretch for a bit, right? Um, man, I got one of these fucking, you know, one of these basic bitch, like, YouTube streamer gamer gamer chairs, like, computer chairs, whatever the fuck. What the hell is it called? A GTR racing chair or whatever the fuck? I don't even know. But, you know, one of these basic bitch gamer chairs. And I didn't buy it myself. It was a it was like a birthday gift I got because I guess people thought that I would that I would They're like he likes games and people like I don't know, he's gamer chair and it's like it's nothing special about it, right? I don't know why people lose their minds over this goddamn shit. But like, you know, it's nice for like mobility and shit. It's a computer chair, right? You know, you can lean it back if you want to, right? Like, recline it just a little bit, nothing too crazy. I barely do that. Because it's like, if I'm near my PC, why the fuck would I recline it? You know? Also, it's not like a recliner. It's not like a lot of space for that. So, there's really no reason to be reclining a fucking PC chair. Unless you're like really tired and you just have nowhere else to sleep. For some reason. But like, it's cool. But after, like, the two-hour mark, it starts to hurt to sit on it, you know? So, like, every two hours or two hours and a half or whatever, I gotta get up and move around. I'm trying to, like, uh, replace my recliner chair that I usually sit in, but, you know. It's nice to be able to move around, though. <laughs> so, uh, also, while I was up stretching, moving around... I completely forgot I got this fucking coffee candy behind me that I get from like an Asian market that's like a while away from me. Sometimes I get like dragon fruit and shit from there and star fruit because they just have it. And this pink pineapple called pink glow pineapple. I mean, it's a pineapple. It's just pink. Honestly, it might be a little bit more, more like sour. I'm not sure, but I remember eating it. That shit was delicious. But anyways, right. In oh shit. <laughs> I will spit out my damn candy. Right now, <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. Right now, uh, I am eating one of the coffee candies. I have like a big ass bag of them. You know? And I just kinda wanted one. So I just grabbed it. So anyways, let's continue. More Persona. Probably continue for like another hour or so. Huh? Oh, you're here. Hey, I have somewhere I wanna go. Marie wants to go somewhere. Since you have Amino Uzumi. Okay, yeah, it won't deepen just yet. Okay. You know what? Uh, What's the date? We got a while until we can really, like... How stupid. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, Marie. You know, actually... Does she have a- oops. Sorry. Does she have a, uh, poem for us to read? No? Okay, cool. So you hang out here, Marie. I'm gonna go hang out with Riza. Oh, senpai. You're free, let's go play. Uh-huh. The Hell Overlooking Town. He came here at Rize's request, and she says she likes it here. When I first got to town, I used to sit here and do nothing. I would just listen to the sounds of the river, and sounds of the birds, the sounds of the rain. I felt I could forget Rizet and find myself that way. But... Senpai, have you ever thought that you're pushing yourself too far, or that you were just acting? Sometimes, yeah. I see. But I guess that makes sense. No one can be their normal self all the time. I mean, I talked about it earlier, right? Where, like, around my family, just be, just be like, 
a completely different person. I feel like I've been able to relax after coming to Inaba, meeting all of you, laughing together, watching the stores, reading comics, playing with the cat. What cat? You got a cat? <laughs> when I was with my parent, when I was at my parents' house, I was on my best behavior around them. Oh, but Grandma doesn't ask me anything, you know, like why I quit or why I'm thinking of or what I'm uh, or what I'm thinking of doing next. She just talks about tofu. She says I'm like tofu. I asked her to ask her what the fuck that meant. The way she explained it, tofu looks weak and fragile, but it's actually pretty resilient. Even though it stands out because it's not the, because it's not like any other food, it can be mixed with any recipe or flavor. Yeah. Tofu is incredible. I mean, tofu is an acquired taste, right? Like, you can definitely make tofu, like, taste great. But at the same time, it's like... It ain't really that crazy. I'm nothing like that. I... I was actually bullied at school before I made my debut. I wasn't good at talking and always looked at my feet. I was alone the entire time. But I didn't have a problem with that. No one expected anything from me. And then the application... I'm sorry, what? I, I'm sorry. I lost my mind. And then, the application my my relative sent out... Oh, fuck. My relative sent without telling me past the first audition. I wasn't interested in being an idol, but I wanted to change the... I wanted a chance to change myself. And just by chance, I won. <laughs> When it happened, I panicked, thinking maybe I shouldn't turn their offer down. Then I thought, if I appeared on TV, I could make friends. That was literally the only reason I went through with it. After a while, I realized something. The person everyone likes, the one they say hi to on the streets, that's not the real me. Rosette is the one everyone likes, the fictional character they sold the public. It's the same with you. Isn't it? You don't have to deny it. I won't be mad. You're with me right now because I'm reset, yeah? No, not really. Honestly, that whole idol shit, I really do. I, don't, I honestly don't care about celebrities, really. Like, there, there's definitely people that I look up to and stuff like that. And, you know, I would like to meet someday, right? But at the same time, I don't think I don't think I would ever be, like, starstruck for it. No. Yeah. Just no. <laughs> I'm sorry, that wasn't a fair question. But I am happy you said no. When I got back to school after my debut, no one bullied me. I was happy at first, when people I didn't even know talked to me. But they weren't suddenly interested in Rize Kujikawa. They wanted to hang out with Reset. The bullying stopped, but I felt like none of them saw the real me. In my heart, I always thought, this isn't the real me. Funny, huh? I was the one who wanted to change, and... But none of that matters now. I'm done being reset. Now I have people who know the real me. Plus, I have power that can help everyone. I love that. This time, I'm gonna change into a Rize that everyone can like. Keep an eye out for her, senpai. Rize's smiling. I feel that you understand Rize even more. Rize's growth of heart has affected her persona. Sorry. I was getting all the flavor of my coffee candy. I love it. I love fucking coffee, oh my god. All party members will receive a small amount of health at the end of battle. Thank god. You walk Rize to her house. I just cracked the shit out of my back. It felt great. You decide to look over Nanako's homework. I have to write a paper about my favorite animal. Hmm, which one should I choose? Oh, I know. There's a picture of it on the shirt that Dad brought me. What is it called? A platypus? I write about a platypus. Nanako eagerly begins researching platypuses. She doesn't seem to need any help, but she makes sure she's on the right track. The platypus lays eggs. 
and they have poisonous claws. Question. Is it the male or female platypus that has the poison claws? I think it's the male. My gut says female, but I feel like if I say that, it'll be wrong. I think it's the male. Correct. You're smart, big bro. Like, my mind always goes, it's the female to protect her young, but it's the male. After Nautica finished her research, you put her to bed and return to your room. Summer break will now be over. Gotta work on that homework, damn it. You decide to do your summer homework. The homework is mostly review problems. You feel that you have a better understanding of the material. Nice. You feel that you understand it, but still not well enough. Since you had completed reading expert study methods, you were able to study more efficiently. God damn, that was a lot. After working urgently on your homework, all well, your homework has been completed. You decide to look over Nanako's homework. This is the last thing I have to do for my homework. I just need to write a picture diary. Hmm. Big bro and dad. Let's see, August 27th. Uh, I don't remember. Oh shit, I almost choked on my own spit. I felt it going down the wrong pipe, but then I somehow I managed to redirect it. <laughs> wow. I caught that shit. I don't remember the weather. Uh, big bro? Did it rain the day we worked on my art homework? Ah, oh, shit. Stopped raining by then. Oh, that's right, thank you. Nanako just remembered. Big bro and his friends helped me a lot with my homework. They were so nice. I like them so much. No, don't look. It's my diary. Nanako has finished all her summer homework. After putting Nanako... Eh? <laughs> I just completely butchered her name. After putting Nanako to bed, you went to your room. I wanna... Good morning, senpai. It's me, Rise. I wanna bite... I wanna bite the candy I got in my mouth, but I'm afraid that the mic's gonna pick it up and it's gonna sound terrible. Good morning, senpai. Oh, she just said that. Did you know the fireworks festival is today? You know, I don't have any plans. I mean, she did call first. Let's you and me go. Alone, baby. Damn right. Rize seems a little embarrassed. But I bet we'll run into the others at the festival. Yosuke Senpai would never pass up something like this. It kind of sucks, but maybe we should get together with everyone this time. Well, I'll see you tonight, Senpai. Big bro, are you there? Yeah. What's up, Nanako? Chan's house. I'll buy some trash bags on the way back. I wonder if Nanako knows about the fireworks festival. You tell Nanako you'll be going to the fireworks festival with your friends. Dad said we'll be going to the fireworks show once he comes home. It's at night, so I have to go with Dad, but he said he'll try and come home for it. I'm glad to hear that. Fuck, I don't, I don't know why I read it like that. <laughs> I, I read it like I was reading a paragraph. I'm glad to hear that. Hope to see you there, Nanako. Uh -huh. Like I absentmindedly just read it. I'll go with Dad, so we'll see you there. Like zero emotion whatsoever. Like a fucking robot. You decide to leave Nanako to Dojima and go to the fireworks festival with your friends. You're damn right I did. You and your friends arrive at the hill overlooking the town. Ooh, the crowd's pretty thin here. The riverbanks were packed. I'm surprised you found a quiet spot like this. Oh no, I knew about it. I 
pass by the mountainside a lot. Customers ask me about it, too. I wonder if Nanako-chan will make it. I called and told her where we'd be before I left. Smart, Yukiko. Hey, where's Teddy? Not only was he hitting on girls non-stop, he accidentally put the moves on Hanako and she dragged him away. Oh. He ducked into his bear skin right away and acted like a bear, but he still got dragged off without a word. Whoa! Can we just leave him like that? Sure we can. His karma caught up to him. Aren't you being a little cold to Teddy today, Yosuke-senpai? When I think back to what he did this morning, no, I really don't. Truth be told, I wish I could send two or three more Hanukos at him. Ugh, you madman. Dude, that would kill him. What happened anyway? I don't even want to remember it. He dug up some private stuff from my room and brought it to the Hanamura family breakfast. He was all like, Yosuke, what's this magazine about? Can you imagine the humiliation I went through because of him? It's your fault for having that stuff. I mean, can you blame us, Chie? Like, Japan, like, look at Japan. The most fucking infertile place on the goddamn planet, but it's full of a bunch of horny fucks. It's not like I ever thought anyone would wave it around in front of my parents. Hey, man, yo, Yosuke, what's with this? Is this really what you want to be talking about with girls around? Huh? Is he not talking about his secret savings? Oh, Yukiko, you're so innocent and pure. Or just straight up oblivious and stupid. Secret savings. For a guy. Right. Let's just leave him be. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, Rize? Hold up. Wait, hold up. I got secret savings that I don't tell people about. Well, now they're not so secret no more. <sighs> Teddy? What a tragedy. My lovely fur is completely ruined. Dude, she crushed you. That's... Okay, that's worse than I was expecting. Anyway, people are going to stare at you like that. Hurry and take it off. But I'm like a newborn child inside. Just like your magazine from this morning, Yosuke. What the fuck, dude? Quit reopening this morning's wounds. There they are. Big bro. How does the human teddy, quote unquote, human teddy fit in that? This is so flat. What is the fucking anatomy of Teddy, man? He just manifests a body and can get rid of it whenever he wants and fucking transfer his soul into it. Man, we've been waiting for you, Nanako. <laughs> I made it. Sorry if I made you nervous. I didn't quite finish my paperwork, but I figured a dachi could handle the rest. Hey there, little lady. Want to launch some fireworks of love with me? Test my gangster if you want to, Teddy. How do you do that? Well... Cut it out, Teddy! Do you want Dojima-san to haul you in? I wouldn't stop him. Things are heating up down there. Does that mean it'll be starting soon? Really? Don't listen to him. Stop messing with her, Teddy. Sometimes you're unbearable. Was that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> oh, looks like this one's a doozy. Ooh, you're right, Teddy. <laughs> Teddy, You enjoyed the fireworks festival. That concludes our program for the Summer Fireworks Festival. Listen, I love fireworks, they're great, they're amazing, but what's not great is when, you know, here in America, we had the 4th of July, everyone buys their illegal fireworks, right, you head down to, you, you take a nice little road trip with some friends and you go spend hundreds and hundreds of bucks on fireworks, right? I remember I did that last, uh, was it last, no it wasn't last, um, it wasn't last because, you know, COVID and shit, everyone stayed inside. It was, uh, you know, before COVID. 
I did that. I was like, I was like, hey, my friends are heading down because uh, he wants to go grab some fireworks or whatever. And I told my family, I was like, if you guys want me to get anything for you, tell me now, right? And give me the money for it. Because honestly, I, I, I was like, honestly, I can do without fireworks. I don't need them. Like, they're good, but I don't need them. They then fucking went like, well, here's 200 bucks or whatever. And then I looked at them and I said, what the hell do you think you're going to get f f fucking with 200 bucks? These are like, we're heading to get like big fireworks. So then, you know, they were like, oh no, just grab some small stuff. And I'm like, I'm like, you're going to have, you're planning on having this whole ass party over here and you're going to get sprinklers and shit. Like way to be lame. So then I ended up spending like 300 bucks of my own money, like getting a bunch of big ass fucking like mortars and shit. Right. They were good fireworks, you know. They were nice, but at the same time, it was like, I really shouldn't have spent that money. <laughs> I get, I get like bittersweet feelings with fireworks. Thank you for coming, and all of us here in Inaba hope to see you again next year as well. That and also the fact that the neighbors behind me constantly, every fucking night, would uh put fire would just light fireworks. They stopped doing it a couple of months ago because I guess someone finally just like had enough of their shit either that or they moved out but like i mean like stupid amounts of fireworks they would like fucking shoot every goddamn night my dog would lose her fucking mind over it and then fucking some of them were like so some of them had like so much force in it that it would like shake my room and i'm like come on man what the fuck are you doing man that was amazing totally worth coming out here for because you got to stuff your face, right? So what? You were all munching on snacks, too. An extra large steak bowl doesn't qualify as a snack. Maybe not to you, Yosuke. Did you have fun, Nanako-chan? Mm -hmm. I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's about time for you to be home in bed. I'll take Nanako back. Make sure you guys don't stay out too late, huh? Bye-bye, Nanako-chan! Bye-bye. See you later, Nanako. See you at home. The fireworks were great, but... I don't know, it just feels like summer's just about over. Why'd you have to bring that up? Don't worry, once you become an adult... And you realize that every day is pretty much summer. I'm alright with that. When I'm working, I have to wear fall clothes during the summer so I don't get a sense of the seasons changing. But this year, I went to the beach and saw some fireworks. I even got to wear a yukata out to the summer festival. The festival, huh? Well, thanks to a certain someone, I don't have anything but bitter memories of that. I don't know. Maybe it's because of my working schedule and that I work overnights, but honestly, every day just kind of goes by for me, really. <laughs> it's like... When I was in school, I'll be like, oh man, I can't wait for a break. But now every day kind of feels like a break to me. Really? That someone is you. Well, I had fun. Oh yeah, you were good at that candy cutting. Wait, that's not what I meant. I was expecting something more, more bittersweet and stuff. Right? True, man. <laughs> it's completely different. Wait a sec, what does that mean? What are you comparing it to? Did, did you go with someone else the next day? Chie, you don't look well. Did you eat too much? Are you feeling bloated? No, it's not my stomach. So much as my chest. Hmm. Dude, seriously? Shut up, Yosuke. Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Like you're any different. Oh yeah, should we have asked that kid to come with us today? What kid are you talking about? Uh, well... He means the boy detective. I believe the name is Naoto Shirogane. Oh, him. Yeah, I guess so. 
When you think about it, we were working on the same case in a way. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we might not ever see him again. I'd hate to leave it with him like that. I said some harsh things. You know, I remember him saying something that sounded pretty sad. Then again, I doubt he's the type who'd accept even if we had invited him out to see the fireworks. I wonder if he's not here anymore. He seemed to be busy, so maybe he's already working on another case in some faraway town. Huh. Sorry, I didn't mean to be a downer. There's no point in wondering what might have been. He was a pretty good-looking guy, too. He might have been a roadblock in... Uh, other ways. Hey, Yosuke. Okay. Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Shut up. You don't have to say it twice. He had a light dinner with the others and then headed home. Oh, you finally came down. Um, I got a call from Dad. He said someone gave him a watermelon. Oh, uh, dude, I can totally go for some fucking watermelon right now. Oh, my God. It's too big for us to eat, so he said you should call your friends over. You know what you gotta do sometimes? Sometimes for breakfast, you just gotta have nothing but fruit. Like, just straight, like, have, have, like, a big-ass bowl of watermelon, maybe, like, a banana, and fucking some strawberries or some shit. Do you think Teddy and your other friends can come? I'm telling you, you do that for breakfast, you're gonna feel so refreshed in the morning. You're just gonna be like, damn, that was good, why don't I do this more? Nako seems to want everyone to come. You decide to give him a call. Watermelon? Oh, definitely. I haven't had any yet this year. I'm gonna call up the others, so you better not smack it open before we get there. Is watermelon like... Is watermelon like... Do they view watermelon in Japan the same way we view, like, dragon fruit and shit? Is it like... Is it like an exotic fruit for them? Nanako may, uh, Nanako may have been a factor in the decisions as well. Um, Dad got a watermelon from someone, so he said we should call everyone! Man, a watermelon! Because of all the stuff that's gone down this summer, I completely missed out! So, where is it? The fridge? Gee, Kanji, they invited us over. At least show some manners. Hey, what you mean? Free say? Motherfuckers called you over for free food. Where the food at? We gotta smack it open first. Huh? Are we seriously gonna do that? We can't eat it if it gets all crushed. <laughs> Think so exotic since it takes a lot of land to grow? Really? Huh. Fun? That kind of sucks. <laughs> I fucking love watermelon, dude. Even though, even honestly, even though it's just what, what is it? 90, 95? Not 95, that's too much. What is it, 85% water? <laughs> A watermelon? It's so damn good. I want to do it too. I'll swing at it with everything I've got the splattering fruit juice. Bursts of joy, one night of love. The bitter sweetness of those days is the essence of youth. The fuck you on about, Teddy? That makes no sense at all. Same thing with chickens eating farmland, so say special occasions like crit Wait. Chicken's like a rare commodity over there? That can't be right. You serious? No fucking way. And dude, will you cut out those commercial lines of yours? Turkey, I would expect. Turkey, I would expect. Okay, wait, hold on. So Japan has fucking... Has like... Has like all this crazy like... Sushi and Wagyu beef and all this crazy shit. But motherfuckers don't got watermelon and chicken. They just hate... They just hate black people, don't they? <laughs> like, they're just hating on me. That's the essence of you. My light-skinned ass head over there. Wait, where the chicken and watermelon at, guys? What's going on? I'm home. Whoa, that's a lot of shoes. How many people are here? No wonder why they want to grab. No wonder why they want to grab your curly ass hair when they see you. 
they were fried chicken at... Wait, hold up. As far as you know, that's why fried chicken is the Christmas. Turkey's for Thanksgiving. Oh, really? It's kind of sad. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Maybe that's why there's not that many buff, like, Japanese people, right? Because they just ain't got enough chicken breast going on in there. Welcome home. The meat they eat is, like, more fatty. Say what? It's probably why their uh, servings are super well, small. You see, the watermelon was already cut and shared with the neighbors. Good. Don't crack open no. Fucking talk about smashing open our watermelon. I fucking hurt somebody if they did that shit. Come on, Nanako. Don't pout. Everyone came here to hang out, right? I'm really sorry. It never occurred to me you'd want to do that. Hey, Nanako-chan, let's do it again sometime. Next time, we'll do it right at the beach. It's a good point. Smaller islands with less resources have smaller people. <laughs> and a lot of rice. <laughs> Seconded. Fast to grow and doesn't take that much space. Whoa, does that mean we get another chance to see a lot of, bathing suits? They got like a lot of rice, potatoes. Oh. There probably aren't enough days left. We'll have to do it next year. Next year? Will you play with me next year too? Of course, Nanako. Of course we will! Isn't this the scene in like, the P4 anime? Where like, if you look closely, there's like two Chies? <laughs> you betcha! You betcha! Did you hear that, Nanako? Yep. Thank you. The fun time slowly passed by. Eventually, everyone went home. Nanako must have gotten tired, too. She already seemed to be asleep in her room. Thanks for everything today. The fuck? You guys spent the whole day eating watermelon? How the fuck is that possible? It's been a while since I last saw Nanako in high spirits like that. <laughs> you haven't seen it, but you will look for the two Chies, yeah. I remember someone uh, losing their mind about that. Who the fuck did that anime? I think it was A1 Pictures? Are they still in business? A1 Pictures is still alive, right? I don't know. Like, people were doing comparisons to, like, the Persona 4 anime and the fucking god-awful Persona 5 anime. I didn't even finish the Persona 5 anime, honestly. Fucking, it was so bad. I couldn't make it past episode 3. It was, like, really terrible. People said it got better later on, but still, it's like, uh It's like, why? I don't know what the fuck happened, but so before Persona 5 came out, they did the Daybreakers, like, OVA special, or whatever the fuck, and that animation was fucking top-notch, and then the fucking anime came out, and besides the intro, everything else was kind of shit, and then fucking Persona 5 Royal came out, and the intro to that is animated like garbage. I don't know what anime studio they're using for that, but it's just fucking, it's just terrible. <laughs> the case is finally solved. Now for all the... <laughs> ah, never mind. Save it for some other time. I'm not even like an anime snob or anything really like that, but fucking god friends. damn it. <laughs> Heard the anime was bad, but Hifumi was good in it. I don't I didn't even get to Hifumi. That's how bad it was. Fuck, dude. First episode, I was like, all right, a bit of rough spot. Second episode, I was like, oh no, what's going on? And in the third episode, characters were moving in like the most fucking weird way possible. Like, it just didn't make sense. Although the backgrounds were great, but that sucks because most of the backgrounds kind of just felt like still images. Like, there was no motion going on in that shit. Like, fucking Akira, you are not. Cowboy Bebop, you are not. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I hate to compare it to, like, those things because those things have, like, stupid amounts of detail in it. Should hurry on up to school. I should do that. That is something I should do. Morning. Good morning. 
<sighs> Summer vacation's over already. Yo, guys. I got lost on my way here. Stop lying, Yosuke. The fuck you lying for? The vacation was pretty long. Not that long. Sheesh. Oh my god. Good morning. Morning. Y you? You're that, uh, pint-sized detective. I beg your pardon? My name is Naoto. Please don't give people bizarre nicknames you make up on the spot. Damn. Nato said, excuse fucking me? Um, you know this is a high school, right? My cooperation with the police has come to an end. However, there are aspects of the case with which I remain unconvinced. I wish we can pull shit like this in, like, America, right? Where it's like... Still in high school, but you're like the top in your field without somebody judging you. <laughs> there are some family related issues as well. So I've decided to stay here for the present. From today forth, I'll be a first year at your high school. Animation must be expensive. The P3 games cutscenes were pretty bad too. Well, P3, it's like, P3 was what? 2000 and, ugh, fuck dude. <laughs> FES. When was Persona 3 Festival? Not 2008. 2006? Maybe? And I don't even, like, FES is, uh, the, you know, Persona 3 FES is what we got here in America, but there was a Persona 3 before that as well. Like, a baseline Persona 3. And I'm not sure if the anime cutscenes were in that, so, like, it may be, like, fucking... 2005 or some shit i'm not sure but i mean like you know that was back when like anime wasn't really taken as seriously right it definitely wasn't 2008 because that's when persona 4 came out <laughs> well in the u.s persona 4 came out 2008 i think came out 2007 in japan i'm not sure yeah and I think 1996 was Persona 1. But anyways, it's like fucking, you know, like back then, back then, like animated cutscenes wasn't really that crazy on like, um, on like, uh, you know, PlayStation 2 and shit like that. Like, look at, look at the game Orphan and like fucking Grandia and shit like that. Like, none of them were that crazy. They didn't need to be, you know, that, that high fidelity or anything like that. But even like, but even if you compare the animated cutscenes from base Persona 5 game to the Persona 5 anime, like, even those cutscenes were way fucking better. Granted, they are shorter, of course, but like, what the hell, man? What happened? And I felt that I should at least introduce myself to you all. I trust our relations will be cordial, senpai. It's even worse when you play Persona 5 Royal and then you see the extra animated cutscenes because it's made by the- I think they're made by the same studio that did the Persona 5 anime. And you can just see how different they are and you're like, Ugh, it's so bad and ugly. Yeah. Senpai? That detective boy's our underclassman? Makes you feel stupid, huh, Chie? <laughs> Yeah, but anime is expensive. Animation is expensive as fuck. So they got the guy, you know, unless unless you're hiring people from like like the Philippines or something. <laughs> but then again, you won't really get like crazy high quality shit. So they got the shit. I lost my ability to read. What the hell just happened to me? So they got the guy over summer break. I was sad to know that he was a student. I once taught. You gotta watch out for unjustified resentment, guys. I'm sure... I'm sure you know what... Fuck, why am I having a hard time reading now? What's wrong with me? I'm sure you know what I mean. You all watch gossip shows. You never know who has a grudge against you. My advice, train your body regularly so you can fight back. My guy, a fucking... Doesn't matter how tough you are, it's not saving you from a knife to your back. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You need exercise and meat to train your body. Young people, eat meat. Put that meat all up down your throat. Alright, now a sudden question about meat, Narakami. Venison. 
is meat of what animal? All of the above! You gave the answer you thought was right. That's right, I'm surprised you knew. Venison is the name for any game meat. That includes wild boar, deer, moose, reindeer, and even some kinds of rabbits. You fucking sick bastard. It comes from the word venoir, meaning to hunt. But nowadays, people really only use it to refer to deer meat. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Speaking of outdoor exercises, the school's trip... Wait, what? Exercise? Why did I say exercises? Speaking of outdoor experiences, the school's trip is next week. I hope you get the chance to get some yummy meat. Hey, okay. Get some of that yummy meat. Out there on a field trip? <laughs> but be careful not to eat anything that has to that has to hide behind a code name. What? A code name. I'm trying to think of like what's the gamiest meat I've ever eaten. Have I eaten bison Man, before? School's as dull as ever. I think I might have eaten bison before. I know I've eaten, I know I've eaten like eel and octopus and shit like that. But that's not really gamey. Codename like Takoyake? Really? But Takoyake is just octopus. It's like Takoyake is just kind of, you know, fried out. It's just fried dough with some octopus and vegetables. With the case closed, the days feel so empty all of a sudden. Come on, Yosuke. Everything went back to normal. It's a good thing. I mean, I've cooked duck before. Would duck be considered gamey? I don't think so. Duck is just duck, right? Duck is weird. When you cook duck, you gotta cook it like it's a fucking steak. <laughs> you know? But that duck fat is fucking rich. If you ever cook duck, make sure you save that fat. You gotta make sure you save up that fat. I do that shit all the time. But since I changed up my diet or whatever, since I changed up my diet, I can't really eat duck as much as I like anymore. I remember people looked at me in my house. I was like, I'm cooking duck tonight. And they were like, duck? Oh, you fancy? And I was like, it's not that fancy. That shit was so delicious, though. Oh, my fucking God. I didn't mean it that way. It's just... Dude, if you just do some regular salt and pepper, like nothing much, and you like, and you, you know... Get that nice crispy duck skin. I kid you not, it tastes just like bacon. Hey, we're stopping by Juness later, right? Why don't we ask Naotokun to join us? Oh, well, I just thought, since he doesn't know anyone yet, he must feel lonely. See, that's a problem, Yukiko, you thought. Didn't he say he came here to help out with the murder case? With the case closed, he's just an ordinary guy now. And if you think about it, that makes him a transfer student, just like us. Hello, senpai. I keep forgetting that Yosuke is a transfer student. He's been here for like, what, a year? Maybe he transferred here out of plain stubbornness, because he doesn't seem like he's only in it for fun. All right, let's see if he wants to hang out with us. A celebrity coming to school is already a surprise, but a detective is even rarer. I'm a little curious to see what his family's like, too. I love how Chie saying that is just basically like her walking up to Rize and just putting her hand in her face and saying, Out the way, bitch. You're not important no more. There's that and the fact that he's a detective at his age. Oh, speak of the devil. There's the little guy. You don't know the area yet, right? Come on, who will show you around? There's probably tons of places to hang out that only we'd know about. It's the fucking countryside. I highly doubt that. That won't be necessary. I'm not interested in hanging out, and neither am I interested in you two. Huh? Hey, what did you say? What's with that attitude? We're just trying to be friendly. Jeez, way to make an impression. Yo, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Oh, um... <laughs> hey, guys. Sup? Sup? <laughs> Fuck it. The way he says it, just sup. Uh, well, we'll be going now.
So we meet again. May I help you? Hey, Naoto-kun! If you're not doing anything after school, want to come with us? Come with... you mean me? I mean, Perhaps yeah. another time. I have some things to mull over. Things to mull over? I must go straight home today. I promised my grandpa so. Grandpa? Oh well. That's that then. Let's hang out some other time. Man, did you see Naoto's attitude? He sure blew his debut at school. I never understood why Naoto was like that. Right? I never understood that. It's like Naoto's just like really blunt to the two girls. Just basically being like, be gone, thought. <laughs> and then the moment we roll up, Naoto's like, uh, sure, I guess, maybe, sometime. Is he gonna be okay at Yasugami? He is different, but he has this mysterious air around him that draws your attention. Whoa, Yukiko, I never knew. You like younger guys? No, that's not what I meant. Hmm. Naoto-kun said he has things to mull over, but he's got to be talking about the murder case. He's some ace detective, right? I bet he's not satisfied, even though the case is closed. That's true, but... Hmm. <laughs> This place isn't our special headquarters anymore. Uh, let's talk about something else. Isn't the class trip coming up soon? Um, where are we going? Even aside from the story background, Nato is pretty unfriendly. Yeah, it's like... I just don't get it. Like, it's such a random, like, tone shift. It's like, hey, Nato, wanna hang out? Out of my face, bitches. And then fucking Yosuke, who literally just made fun of Naoto not too long ago, and Naoto reprimanded him for it. He goes, Yo, Naoto, I wanna hang out. And then Naoto's like, uh, I don't know, maybe. Tatsumi Port Island. I heard it's an artificial island that faces the ocean. It's a pretty big city. Huh? Port Island? I did tons of shoots there. It's just beyond the Moonlight Bridge, yeah? Should be lots of places to hang out there. Uh, actually, we may not have any time to goof off during this trip. Why not? I heard the school board is changing the trip schedule this year. The idea is we're going to visit a private school there, like to have local and urban students interact or something. I'm trying to think, did my fucking senior year even have a senior trip for high school? I mean, if they did, I still wouldn't have gone, but I don't think they did. I don't think we had a senior trip. Hmm. It'll be all about studying and serious business. Oh, yeah. Ugh, they're totally missing the point of a class trip. I feel like I never fucking had field trips in my school, but like the year below me would always have like a million fucking field trips. What kind of place is this private school? I heard it's really good. They have nice buildings and everything. But it's closed on the day we're going there, so they're going the extra mile to make this work. They want us to tour some factories on the second day, and then we're coming back on the third day. That's no different from a social studies field trip. Uh, I didn't want to know that. Oh no, I remember now. We did have a fucking... Well, we didn't have... It wasn't really like a senior field trip. It was like a... A fucking, um, economics? My ex- my economics class had, like, a trip. Which wasn't really a trip, honestly. We went to the, f uh, fucking... What is it called? I wanna call it the Federation Building. I don't think that's what it is. Wherever the fuck the, uh, wherever the fuck, um, in New York they have the gold bars at for, like, the fucking, you know, nation's bullshit. Banking Federation or whatever. I have a souvenir from it. Fucking... But whatever, it wasn't really like a field trip because I already live in New York, so fuck off. I can go there whenever the hell I please. <laughs> you know? Can't expect much from a school-sponsored trip, I guess. Well, we'll be around, so if it starts to drag, we can ditch. I'll show you guys around. 
but we're in different years. Oh, didn't you know? The excursion will be like the campout. They're going to combine the first and second years. Since student enrollment is down and they're low on funds, they've cut the excursion back to once every two years. Well, at least we won't be bored with you around, senpai. Gosh, I'm trying to remember the last time I went to Port Island and I wasn't working. <laughs> this will be great! I wish I could be that positive about it. Doesn't this seem like a pain in the ass to anyone else? Some people were against the proposition, but it's been decided. Oh, and guess whose idea it was? King morons. It's just the kind of thing he'd come up with. From the grave. <laughs> No, King Moron! Why must you torture us from beyond the grave? Man, all these guys are kind of fucked up. The man's dead and you still call him King Moron. Dude has a name. No, King Moron! You don't even know who that is. Hey, tell me more about this trip. Where is Port Island? What's there? Get back to work, will ya? Well... Even though the class trip is coming up, it's still a ways away. What should I do until then? Well, it's not like we got much to do here in the first place. Man is just an animal trying to figure out how to kill time through his days. Huh. You made that sound like you were being philosophical. Yet it made absolutely no sense. S sorry. Wow, Che, <laughs> you ain't had to attack him like that. Shit. She said, ha, you think you're smart, but you're not. <laughs> like, what the fuck, Chie? Oh, welcome home, big bro. Chie, of all people saying that shit, right? <laughs> There's a delivery for me. Ah, yes, a knife I can put in the back of my enemies. Or even my friends. How good is it? Damn right. There you go, Yosuke. Fucking... Fucking John Stabby over here. All right. Uh, is there something I can do at night? I feel like there's something I can. Ah no. Nanako looks as like she's not doing anything. Let's hang out, Nanako. Be the best of friends, you and I. Hmm. I lost the paper I was supposed to return to school. What should I do? The teacher will yell at me. Help you look for it. Thank you, big bro. You decided to search the house. The paper Dojima is always going through are here. Huh? The paper titled Parent Survey regarding scheduling of parent teacher interviews was hidden amongst them. The word anytime has been written on it. Is this the paper Nanako was looking for? There's someone else hidden in the pa- Someone else? What the fuck? Why did I say that? There's something else hidden in the papers! Seems to be a photo. You decide to show it to Nanako. You handed the paper and photo to Nanako. Photo- Um, the photo. Fuck. Nanako looks at the paper on the table. It says anytime. I'll try. On it. So, he can come anytime? I see. And this is a photo. Oh, this is... Mom. This little baby in the middle, that's me. Dad's smiling. Why did Dad stop smiling? He's lonely too. Huh? Dad's lonely. I see. So that's it. Nanako has realized something. After Mom died... I was lonely, but I'm not the only one who's sad that Mom's not here anymore. Dad, he was lonely too. It's nice that you have a photo of your mom, Sorry, and Dad. I don't, and I don't get to see it, right? I don't get to see what your mom looks like. Nanako looks more mature somehow. You feel that your relationship with Nanako has grown deeper. Oh my god, that's only rank 8? Jesus fuck. <laughs> Thank you, big bro. Will Dad ever smile like this again? Nanako stares at the photo. Good night. 
getting late, so you put Nanako to bed and went to your own room. Oh my god, it's raining. It's thunder. You overheard students talking. What are y'all talking about? I feel so tired coming to school, so sleepy. I can't believe that I was early for class every single morning until just about a month ago. You're so lucky compared to me. I've been studying for my interest exams all summer. By the way, I'm so relieved that they caught the guy behind those murders. I was surprised that it turned out to be a student. I've seen so many people... Added a fucking word there that didn't even exist. I've seen so many shows interviewing the police by now. I'm so sick of it. Class has ended for today. Incidents resolved. Hope tragedies don't happen again. Alright. Well, it's raining, so I can't really do anything... Uh, Fox-related, I think. Because I think I have to teach a girl how to talk or some bullshit. For the Fox. And no one's gonna hang out with me on a rainy day. Maybe Kanji hang- I think Kanji might hang out with you on some rainy days because you had like... You had indoors sometimes? Let me see. I'm gonna have to come back and activate Kanji's thing. His uh, social link. Cause that's- <laughs> Cause I forgot to do that before the end of summer. Not before the end of summer, before the uh, end of spring or whatever the fuck. Alright, so... What can I do? I wish there was like a place you can go to read books in Persona 4, but you can't do that. Here, you can only do it at your house. Um... I guess I'll just do the rainy day challenge. I don't, there's nothing else I can really do. Unless Yosuke's like... Chilling at his job, but I think the next social link for Yosuke takes place outside, so... Chances of me hanging out with Yosuke is probably gonna be pretty low. Yeah. Time to go put some meat in my mouth. That's what you do on rainy days. Boom. Just gonna skip all that because I don't need to read it. I already read it once the stream. What do I get? Understanding. Knowledge. Courage. Nothing has increased. What the fuck? What is my dog doing? What are you doing? You got a whole ass bed to lay on, but no. You want to go and lay on top of the fucking garbage pile I got over there. <laughs> I heard you live with a police detective named Dojima. My daughter met a man named Dojima when she made a delivery to the police station. She said he looked a little like you. Your family must be filled with handsome men and beautiful women. Thanks, but like what? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Wait, wait a minute. I just, my my mind just deciphered what the fuck he said to me. He said, Hey, I heard that you live with some guy named Dojima. I don't know who Dojima is, but I heard he was a policeman. My daughter saw him and said he looked good. So I'm guessing, based off of you, because I don't know what Dojima looks like, I'm guessing you got some fucking handsome and sexy people in your family. So are you just, you just, you just straight up just call the high school boy sexy. Just right there. Just looked at him and said, yo, you're pretty good looking. I, yeah, put this meat in your mouth. You pay me $3,000, 3,000 yen. So Welcome I can put back. meat in your mouth. <laughs> you looking hella cute today. <laughs> like, <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell, man? Way to fuck up my appetite. Um, 
It's nothing I can do at night right now, right? I have a book. Do I have a book on, uh, on understanding? Knowledge and expression. Oh, I should have bought a book. Damn it. Because I need, I need understanding. So I can talk to Dojima. You decided to make some cranes. Carefully and precisely folded the cranes. Understanding increase. Forgot how to make cranes. Rely on muscle memory, baby. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! You just became more confused and ended up slowing down. You wasted a lot of origami paper. How do you waste origami paper? Just flat it out. The folds aren't that bad. Bundle of cranes have not been completed. Class has ended. All right. Um, to the roof. I gotta talk to you. Huh? What? Don't just don't just walk up to me and talk to me all of a sudden. Don't you know that's rude? Oh. Um. Sorry for blowing up like that. It's fine. I'm not in a hurry to go anywhere or anything. So. The female student is mumbling and obviously flustered. Perhaps she's the one who wrote the Emma request. She wants to improve her conversational abilities. Don't we all? <laughs> what do you want? Stop staring at my face. Her words are harsh, but you dealt with the cold response due to your understanding. What? Normal people would have left by now, yelling something at me. You're weird. Weird is cool. What are you standing there for? Say something to me. You got that? The awkward girl ran away. Maybe you should talk to her again. Alright. <laughs> that was weird. Um, who am I hanging out with today? Oh, well, first, before I hang out with anybody, let me go buy a goddamn book. Let's go buy a book for understanding, preferably with two chapters. Fuck you, Teddy. Don't talk to me. Don't look at me. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. I need understanding. Short on cash. Um, uh, those three books should be good. Actually, you know what? I'll I'll get another one. Why not? Well, this one boosts understanding for folding cranes. It doesn't give you understanding. Okay. We can hang out with Marie. Uh, I think we can. It's a Saturday. Can we hang out with Yosuke? I think so. Maybe. He would be like. He would be in the school building. Well, they all be in the school building now, now I think about it. Rize, she's available. Yosuke, what about you? You got like one more point. Ah, shit. Alright. Practice building. Kanji. Ah, fuck. They're all available. <sighs> well, it's not like we have any like... I don't think we're having any events happen soon, so I can hold off on Kanji for like one more day, right? Yosuke! Hang out with me, buddy. Yo! Can I talk to you for a minute? Something I want to say. Yosuke seems tormented. I see. Thanks, man. <laughs> Yosuke looks happy. Simagawa Riverbank. Yosuke brought you here, a solemn look on his face. There's something I wanted to tell you. Somewhere deep down, I didn't trust you. I'm gonna say like it is, Yosuke. This whole entire playthrough, you've been fucking me over, so I didn't trust your ass either. No, it's more like... I was jealous of you. I thought you were like me. Coming from the city to the countryside, I thought you'd be bored out of your mind here. But as soon as you got here, you called your persona, became our leader, gathered people, 
You're a hero. I like you for that, and I'm proud of you. But I guess I was jealous at the same time. He said, damn, you're a hero. That's why I like your cut, G. <laughs> oh, man. Can't be helped. Yeah, I guess. I didn't know, man. I didn't know it either. When I called you special, I thought some more about it. I think out of everyone, I wanted to be acknowledged by you the most. So, I want you to hit me. Give me a good one. Knock out all this crap inside of me. I want to be equal with you. I want us to stand shoulder to shoulder. So come on. Will hitting Yosuke make you and him equal? Alright. But you gotta hit me first. Huh? But I don't have a reason to hit you. Uh, I got it now. If we're equal, then I guess you're right. Okay, here I come. Take your best shot. You brawled it out with Yosuke. Oh, your punches are brutal. I was seeing stars there for a second. But thanks, man. I don't know how to say it, but... That sure beat words. Yosuke face is peaceful. You can have this. You obtain Buddy's Bandage. If you start bleeding, put that on. You know, we should fight more often. Phew. The sky's so high up. Is Saki-senpai watching us? Is she smiling at us? Senpai, I'm going to live. Without lying to myself, without deceiving myself. Days like today, days like before when I did nothing, they're all important days. They're all days you didn't live to see. I'm going to live them here. Yosuke is smiling gently. Yosuke's strong will that allowed him to accept and overcome his weakness has awakened his heart's true power. Yosuke's persona has been reborn. Jiraiya has transfigured into Susanoo. This is my power? The power to protect what's dear to me, huh? <laughs> Just what I wanted. Let's keep at it so we can live every day with a smile, leader. You can feel Yosuke's warm trust. Feel a tight bond between you and Yosuke. Ah, shit. It's maxed out. We got three maxed out party members. But I do got to grind Yukiko and Chie if I want them to be on the team again. The Yosuke Hanamura Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Yosuke Hanamura Social Link. Your power to create personas of the Magician Arcana has reached its maximum. Yunarakami has forged a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering the magician social link, you can now fuse Mata, the in, the into what the fuck the intoxicator. Yosuke's growth of heart has affected his persona as well. Hey, Vedelect. Nice. Uh, what is this? Escape from most battles. We're not gonna need that anymore. Well, we're all counting on your partner. And that's how I became best friends with Spider-Man. Welcome back. All right. It's been a while since I saved. I should do that. All right. No one wants to hang out with me tonight? That's okay. That's all right. That's fine. I don't want to talk to you bastards either.
All right, read a book. Oh, man, they're all two chapters? Oh, you can finish these in a night. Speed reading demon. Mm -hmm. Book begins with the story in which the teacher outlooks on life change. From I gave up to I can do this, you are filled with tender feelings. Since you finished hyperspeed reading, you were able to read more than normal. You have finished the book. Get that understanding up. Needed for Dojima. Alright. Realize that you haven't bought anything from the home shopping program. What the fuck else can I buy? Charm drape. Okay. And chess keys. And prize stickers. Why the fuck do I want more prize stickers? Hmm. Charm drape. For 21 or two chess keys. I'll take the chess keys. It's an investment. It might pay off, it might not. Who knows? Thank you. All right, let's see. Huh, no one's out here. All right. Go to town? Yes. Um... Let's see if Rize is available. I still need to finish Marie's off, but she's not... I'm thinking of, like, spending one of the nights on, like, reading a fortune. And getting her up there. Damn, okay, never mind. I guess I gotta hang out with her now, then. <laughs> Since there's no one else to hang out with. <laughs> See others. Let's see. Requires understanding. I still don't have enough for this, right? Yeah, you gotta be saintly. Fucking bullshit. Alright, Marie, let's hang out. I know we're not gonna do anything crazy today, so let's just go ahead and boost your bullshit. The food court! You decided to come here for a rest after helping Marie with her shopping. Oh! Oh, I found you, senpai. Oh, Marie Chan's with you. Hmm, since they're surrounded by babes, I gotta get <laughs> some of the action. There's only two. There's only two, Teddy. Calm down. Oh, oh I knew it! Hello, Marie Chan. I was just saying to Chie that I bet everyone would be here. Everyone seems to be gathered around. You spend a fun time with everyone, including Marie. Well, see ya. It has grown late, so you leave everyone and escort Marie back to the Velvet Room. That was pretty simple. You're back. Oh, you went shopping today. That's wonderful, Monaco. Too bad that I'm so pressed for fucking time that I won't even get to use any of the food that you got in there. Show on cash? Bam. Read that shit. Begin reading it. Story's about a weak-willed uh, milk toast of a teacher whose hard times getting his students to learn. Story's comedy and... What the fuck? It's comedy and describes the misadventures of the teachers as he flees from psychopathic bill collectors. You're filled with tender feelings. How much fucking shit do I gotta do to get my understanding up? What the fuck? I thought knowledge was the worst one to increase. But knowledge was like pretty easy to get up there. You ever heard students talking? You know, I don't really see the police in town anymore. I've seen on the news that there are still some loose ends in the case, but the police are ready to end everything. The what? You mean those murders? You're still thinking about stuff from that far back? It was like a month ago. Calm down. <laughs> Ignore that. The school trip starts on Thursday. Oh shit, that's a couple of days. I might end up in the same group as Rosette. I'm so looking forward to it. Sheesh, you never can care about idols until now. 
You never can care about that. Why did I say it like that? The fuck is wrong with me? Looks like you're having quite an eventful year. It's so weird. After the murder incident, an idol comes to town and then a detective shows up too. This town used to be so carefree. Every year was more than... Oh, fuck. Every year was more the same until this year came along. Anyways, I suppose to cover a haiku today. Get out your textbooks. Haiku. Unlike Sin... Wait, what? Am I reading that right? Yeah, I am. Unlike Sinryu, contains Kigo, which are words or phases that can be associated with a particular season. Alright, why don't I test the waters with a Kigo-related question? Yuchan. Which of the following is a Kigo for fall? Brisk? You give the answer you think is correct. Wow, I'm impressed. You're correct. You're damn right I am. While brisk is an adjective usually used regarding, uh, regardless of seasons, it is a fall Kigo. So, if you're writing a haiku, don't use that word to describe a season that isn't fall. You gave the correct answer. What the f I just said this shit. It's like, why is understanding so hard to get up? Isn't knowledge the hardest one to get up? And I'm a fucking sage now. What's up? <laughs> I'm fucking... I'm a god. Teddy, what the fuck are you doing here? Yo, sub sensei. Are you on your way home? Teddy's sitting there with, with exaggerated nonchalance. Man, I get all excited when school's over. This feeling of freedom is like such a rush. What the fuck are you doing? I'm visiting. I want to see what it's like to be a student. I want to know even more about the school thing than everyone goes to. And it's much more fun than I thought it would be. One day won't be enough. Seems Teddy plans on keep coming to school from here on out. I hope this doesn't cause any problems. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's go. Uh, practice building. Kanji, you available? Fuck. Damn it. Rize. Rize, hang out with me. Rize. Damn it. Nato. Hey, buddy. Oh, senpai. Do you want something from me? Let's go out. No, I'd rather not. You were bluntly turned down. You didn't have enough courage to make... I gotta have courage? Oh. Damn it! What the fuck are you doing out here, Kanji? Your ass should be waiting for me in the fucking practice building. Courage. Courage. I'm gonna need these. <laughs> I'm gonna need this. Uh, oh shit, while I'm here, I think there's a poem in here for us now? Yeah? Haha! -ha! Something is different. Marie's nowhere to be found. Hmm? There's another piece of paper on the floor. Something's written on it in funky handwriting. All you clowns. Hey, you. How long are you going to wear that ugly mask? You know you ain't got the guts for this task. Cover yourself with paint. You're acting like you ain't afraid of what you got in store for your fate. She's spitting. You think you got me? Well, that's too bad. Cause I ain't stupid enough to get had. So drop the pathetic act. I wanna dance and that's a fact. Now quit your gawking and start to react. Yeah, yeah. Now dance. Are you out here spitting? Okay. <laughs> Must be another of Marie's poems. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this? Hey you, what are you doing reading that? I told you not to read these. You jerk. This doesn't mean anything. I'm not dancing for anyone. Why? Why don't you just dance your way off a cliff or something? You think you see Margaret smile, but only for a fleeting instant. Anyways, I hate you, you stupid clown. Don't read my stuff. Marie furiously returns to her seat.
She came out the fucking... <laughs> yeah, Marie came out the cut for no reason. Talking about y'all some fucking clowns. I don't fuck with lames. Alright, Marie. I see how it is. You really do be like that sometimes, I guess. Uh, fuck. She just ruined my whole, like, mindset. You also got me high. I gotta remember, I gotta keep remember to do the fucking Emma request shit. Back to the roof. Talk to me, girl. Oh, you. I was wait- I mean, what are you doing here again? No one asked you to come. Well, I'm busy, so what's what- oh, Shit, I just stuttered. What's on your mind? Hmm. You wanna be friends? Huh? No. The awkward girl ran away. Maybe you should talk to her again. Oh. Why do women always run away from me? Um. Shit. Who can I hang out with right now? Uh, let's head to the school. I mean, it's a Monday. I can hang out with Aerie, but I mean, there's really nothing I want from her, honestly. And Rize is not available, so there's really nothing for that. Uh, I can talk to Naoki. I can try doing that. I wish fucking I was here. Eh, I can talk to Yumi. Let me see. Yumi's at one. Ah, fuck it. I'm gonna go talk to Naoki. I don't care about Yumi. I don't care about Yumi or that other fucking creature. Oh, you, son. Did you need something? I wanna talk with you, man. Again? You really are a strange person. All Student Health Association members, please report to the infirmary immediately. <sighs> student Health Association members, huh? Let's go. No thanks, I'll go by myself. You were bluntly refused. Hey, you're Yukun, right? The teacher said you're filling in for an absent health committee member, so you have to go too. I told you, okay? You better go or else I get suspended. I can't get suspended over some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> he got dragged again. I have to turn in some notes, so I'll join you later. Just go on ahead. Apparently, you're in the Student Health Association for another day. You hurry to the infirmary. Yukun, you got called again. You told them about what you were drafted in- Wait, what? Shit. <laughs> you told them about how you were drafted into the Student Health Association. Really? Well... We're still low on members, so I'm grateful. I really wish they didn't call us in today. Heck, half the people here are saying that they have dates or something. The dude said, why the fuck do I gotta be here? I'm trying to get my dick wet. <laughs> Plus, we have to take inventory. Such BS. Man, Konishi's... Konishi, fuck, Konishi has it easy. Man, his sister's dead. He got it easy. Heard that he's exempt from homework, is that true? What the hell? That's so unfair. Everyone's talking about Saki Kanishi's brother. What the fuck, guys? It's okay, I don't mind. Oh, now y'all feel like assholes. Sorry, I didn't mean to kill the mood. Okay, back to work. What the hell was the thought process there? Man, the world isn't fair. Fuck that guy. His sister's dead, so what? Like, damn. <laughs> you dealt with an awkward day's work on the Student Health Association. Saki Kanishi's brother is still here. You know he has a fucking name. <laughs> like, oh. Hi. Hey. You didn't go home yet? 
I didn't want to just leave when everyone else was still working. I just felt like... Oh, your sleeve has dirt on it. It was because of inventory, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was supposed to help with that. Use this. You were given a cute handkerchief. Oh, uh, you know what? That... Never mind. I'll stay here a little longer. So goodbye. We parted ways with Saki Konishi's brother and went home. You're back. I am back. I gotta read this fucking book to... Who the hell? Hello, it's Rize. Hey. I don't want to go to Teddy's place tomorrow. Wait, what? Oh, why don't we go to Teddy's place tomorrow? I know the criminal was arrested, but... How about... Fucking no, Rize. Stop calling me over stupid shit. Alright. Let's get that understanding up. Teacher changes jobs, but his new job requires too much physical labor. Later, his students welcome him back. Oh my fucking god, why is it so hard to get my understanding up? What the hell is going on here? I never had this much trouble with understanding before. I'm motherly. <sighs> fucking... What the hell, man? I also got to get my bravery up. Well, it's a rainy day, and I can't talk to the fox today, so... Guess it's time for me to go to Aya. Maybe my fucking understanding will go up there. Alright, what do we got? Understanding, 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 please. Ha ha! Ha ha! Courage! Nice, that was the next one. Ha ha! Ah, yeah, too bad, mister. Oh, don't worry, by the end of this playthrough, I'm gonna be chowing down that shit. I will beat this fucking challenge, you can't stop me. You're back. You damn right I'm back, and you know what? I got a couple of words for you, Dojima. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Come to think of it, Dojima was looking at for a copy of the newspaper article. It seems important, but what happened to it? I needed expression for Dojima, not understanding. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Ah. Uh. You're that bored? Well, have a seat. Well, I done fucked up. The newspaper article. Oh yeah, I found it. Were you worried about it? It's about Shisato, my wife. When she was killed by a hit and run. I told you before, right? About the case where we never had a, sus a suspect? Get it now? There's nothing more I can say about it in this house. Let's stop there. How about... How about we don't? You. Ugh, sheesh. She. Nanako's mother was run over by... Was... Fuck, I can't even read. Was run over on her way to pick up Nanako from nursery school. It was a cold day. And there was no witnesses, so they didn't find her until much later. Until they got word to me, Nanako was waiting all day, all, all that time at the nursery, all alone. Waiting for her mother who would never come. I couldn't tell Nanako that her mother was killed. That her father, whose job was to catch criminals, couldn't find a single lead. But I haven't given up. I'll catch the guy. I don't need a private light to do that. 
Nanako will understand. Mm -hmm. It's just an excuse. You're a bitch. Yeah, that's right, I said it. Tajima's biting his lip. Sorry. Maybe I went a little too far. <laughs> you? Thanks. You sense Dojima's pain. Rank six. Left Dojima. I needed an expression the whole entire time and I had it. Morning, Senpai. Morning, bitch. Yo. So are you ready for the trip yet? This guy won't shut up about it. <laughs> Yosuke Senpai hasn't even started packing. He's all like, was that tomorrow? What's up with that? You are way too excited about this. I mean, you're even worried about how many boxes of animal crackers to bring. We're only gonna be there for two nights, dude. Besides, I'm pretty sure they have convenience stores in Port Island. For serious? I've never really left this place, so... Huh. I wonder if the murders here got as much play over there, too. Like that Mitsuo Kubo dude. They're still showing him on TV here. Every time I switch on the tube, the news is showing, like, what he wrote in his yearbook. <laughs> Pisses me off, man. The freaking media is slapping together anything they can find to make the dude look like a born criminal. Yeah, for real. People think they can say anything they want about a guy who's been branded a criminal. It's just not right. I get where Kanji's coming from, right? Like, don't get me wrong. Misuo, piece of shit, right? But there's like this fucking weird shit that the media likes to do from time to time. Well, from time to time, mostly every goddamn time when, like, tragedy strikes, where they begin to weave this fucking narrative to try to, like, grab, like, to grab these instances and put them in, like, a fucking, and put them in, like, a category that's like, look out for these signs, fucking, this is what you want to look out for, and then you'll be totally safe, right? Like, like, get, get a little serious here. Like, um, for, for a quick moment, but, like, you see that shit with, the uh, with, like, um, the biggest example I can use is, like, Columbine, right? Where, like, the fucking kid who perpetrated it, right? Fucking, they always, they always fucking, like, make it seem like, oh, it's the loner kid in school you gotta watch out for. The fucking guy who's a nerd and doesn't talk to anyone or whatever, muttering to himself. The weirdos, right? The goths and shit like that. But it's like, if you really do your research on that, the kid who shot up the place in Columbine, fucking, the dude was popular. Right? It's fucking, I don't know, it's weird. Media does some dumb shit. I mean, I still hate the guy's guts. But I don't know. After getting involved with all this, I started to realize how off-base most rumors are. It's so messed up. Well, I gotta admit, the news can be pretty out there. Pretty out there? Hey, it's Naoto. Sup, Naoto? Yo, how's it going? Good morning. Uh, oh, yeah. I I'm on duty today. <laughs> well, see you later. Damn, dog. <sighs> He's the messed up one. All right, Teddy's still here. What are you doing? What's up with that face? Did I do something wrong? Kanji told me that. Uh, Kanji told me that how you're supposed to say hi to people at school. By the way, Sensei, how's Zumi-chan doing? Can't keep her all to your <laughs> can't wait, wait. can't keep her all to herself, you know. Make sure to tell her next time you see her. Oh. Huh. All right, cool. Practice building. Kanji, 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 Kanji. Let's hang out. Yeah! Yo, you senpai. I wasn't peeping his side, it's not like that. So, why are you making that scary face at me? You got something you want to tell me? Yes, I do. I see. Let's go somewhere else, then.
Simigala Flip Plane. You brought Kanji here to listen, uh, to listen, wow, to learn the truth behind the rumors. What is it? What do you want dragging me out here? Oh, you're here to tell me off or something? Eh, something like that. That's, uh, uh okay. I ain't scared. So what is it? You ask Kanji about his ties to the gang of bullies. What? Huh? Bullies? Me? Senpai, you suspected me. I want to believe you, my guy. Senpai, I didn't do it. I mean, maybe it ain't that easy to trust me since they say I was in a gang. But you gotta believe me. It's my own fault rumors like that go around, huh? At this rate, I'll be chasing trouble. Chasing what? I'll be causing troubles for you guys. Eh. Don't worry about it. Senpai. Um. Whenever you got time, could you maybe hear what I have to say? I feel all cramped inside, and I'm too dumb to know what to think. <laughs> Clumsy as he is, it seems Kanji is looking for an opportunity to change. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Kanji. It's kind of late in the game to be starting Kanji social link, but I gotta do it, you know? I gotta get somewhere with it before uh, the next dungeon, because I honestly really want to take Kanji with me. It would be a big help if his shit was maxed out. To make sure I don't cause you guys any trouble, huh. Well, I guess I should smack that gang of bullies around. Later. He talked with Kanji for a while and went home. He said, what if I just, what if I just beat their ass, you know? Oh, welcome back. You're gonna be gone tomorrow, right? I'll watch over the house. Oh yeah, the package came for you. you damn right it did. Chess keys, nice. All right, let's see. Next, the next couple of, uh, I just hit my microphone. Do I have time for, how long have I been going for? Almost five hours, fuck. Um, do I have time to start? I mean, fuck, <laughs> you know, um, Shit. I'm trying to think, do I have time to like start the next the next handful of uh of stuff? You know what? Uh mm, fuck. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't I wouldn't have enough time to like start like the next the next, like, big-ass chunk of story, because it's going to be there for, like, a bit. So, fuck. <laughs> I would have I would have liked to stop, like, right before we started the next uh, dungeon, right? But I guess, I guess we're going to have to stop here. So, <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> I wish I had time. If I had, like, if I had, like, a little bit more time, like, if I had, like, like, looking at the clock right now, I'm like, if I had just, like, maybe ten more minutes, but I don't. Because people are gonna start waking up pretty soon, getting ready for their days and shit. So, here's what's gonna happen. Here's my plan for now. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna end the stream here, right? And then I'm gonna go and record some shit for, uh, the Pokemon Marathon that's going on on the YouTube channel right now that I'm doing. Playing Pokemon Red and Blue, had to take a bit of a hiatus because I wasn't really feeling well for the past two weeks or so, right? So, gonna record some stuff for Pokemon Blue. Uh, if I had some time, hopefully finish Nightmare Before Christmas. If not, I'll probably do that tomorrow. And then, uh... And then, depending on how much time I have today, in the daytime, I might stream like an hour or two of like 
I'm not sure. Of like, not not a persona or like Ace Attorney or anything like that. Like not like a playthrough or anything like that, but like quick like you know, a quick session of like maybe Mario Kart or something. I'm thinking of doing Mario Kart, like some online races. I may not be good at Mario Kart, but I think it'd be pretty fun, right? Hopping in on Mario Kart, fucking around, especially since, uh... I don't have the DLC tracks yet, but especially since that dropped, so maybe I'll think about grabbing the DLC tracks. You know? I'll think about it. But... Who knows? That's if I have enough time today. I might not. So, nothing's... Can't promise nothing, really. I wish I could. But, that's gonna be it for Persona 4 Golden tonight. Right? Got a lot done. I think we got a lot done, right? A lot of story and shit. We, uh, we maxed out some social links, right? We got Yosuke, Yukiko, Chie, uh, we're close to Marie. I think we got one more. We got two more for Nanako. We started doing more Dojima shit. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're, we're making some progress. <laughs> but that's going to be it for me now, right? I already talked about the YouTube and shit like that. So that's what's going on with that. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I post things, I guess, if you want to do that, I don't fucking know, I don't care, really. <laughs> I don't care, really, I say some, I say some smart shit, I say some dumb shit, doesn't matter, you don't gotta agree with everything I say, I don't care. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for me, I don't have nothing else to add to this outro, so, you know. Is there anything coming out this week, by the way? Like, any, like game of note besides like Rune Factory 5 that I think just came out. God damn it, I want to play Rune Factory 5 so bad, but I gotta go pick up the uh now that you know of. Mm. I feel like there's like one more game that's supposed to come out this month. I guess not, right? What the fuck's coming out next month? Is there anything coming out in April? When the fuck does Atomic Heart come out? When the hell is that? Oh my god, we're getting close to E3 time again, too. Fuck, man. <laughs> too much shit going on. God damn it. Oh, wait, Kirby. Did Kirby come out yet? Kirby came out. I love Kirby. I love a little Poyo bastard. I love him. I think Kirby might have came out. Or was it delayed? Damn it. I don't know. Anyways, that's going to be it for me tonight. For those who came and watched live, thank you for watching. Thanks for chatting. I really appreciate it. It's fun talking to you guys and just talking about bullshit. Because I say some dumb shit here and there. Right? So that's pretty fun. And then, yeah. If you're not, think about following me. Uh, if you want to sub, eh, I can't really, I wouldn't really recommend it at this point, you know, but if you want, sure, I guess. Um, and then, yeah, for those who are watching this on YouTube, I'm, I think I'm going to start uploading these streams on YouTube instead of just waiting for the playthrough to be done because I, I'm sitting on a bunch of fucking streams unlike playthroughs that just haven't been finished like Conception we gotta go back and play that at some point finish that that's a long ass game Jesus I had to take a break from that shit but yeah so you know I'll try and start uploading more on YouTube and stuff like that but that's pretty much it once again thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take it. I'm a chef, chef too. What else should I be? Please don't take off.